Hey team, and welcome to uh, another demonstration of our test workouts. Now, this one is gonna be called uh, Charlie. Now, this one is a little bit tricky to wrap your head around in the way it's structured, so I'm gonna um, just you know, give you a good minute or so to, to understand how this one works, okay? Now, the exercises we're gonna use for this workout is a 20 meter run, burpees, V-snaps, jackhammer squats, plank ups, push ups, squat jumps, diamond push-ups, star jumps, mountain climbers, crunches, alternating jumping lunges, and jump outs. Okay, so there's a lot of uh, exercises involved in this workout. So I'll just quickly explain how it's gonna go before Matty here, he's gonna jump in and he's gonna do some demonstration for you guys. Now how it works is you start with your 20 meter run, okay? Then you do a, that 20 meter run again, and then this time it's two burpees, okay? Then you're gonna go and do your 20 meter run again, another two burpees, then three V snaps. Okay, so we're starting at the start again and we're just adding a number each time as we go through. All the way down to 13. So you'll be doing the whole lot um, and that'll be the last, the last round. When you go all the way from one, through to 13, okay? And then that's gonna be your test. It's gonna be how long that you can do uh, the, all the required reps and exercises in. Record that data, it's really important, and then retest yourself, say, in a month's time or a few weeks' time to see how you're tracking with your progress with your transformation and your fitness. Okay, so we're gonna get uh, Matty in now. He's gonna do a quick um, exercise, uh, exercise demonstration. Now, we're just gonna do a, uh, just a bit of a demonstration of the exercises. Uh, to get you guys going with this one, okay? So come on over, Matty. First of all, we've got our 20 meter run. Now you guys all know how to run, so set up just the distance in 20 meters. Um, just in the, in the gym or out in the street or out in the park, wherever you're doing this workout. Uh, burpees, he's gonna show us how to do a burpee, the perfect burpee. So side on. Good, perfect, Matty. Jumping through, flat feet, good extension of the body. Then he's gonna go into V snaps. So he's keeping his heel just off the ground, meeting halfway, perfect. And then we go into jackhammer squats. So maybe face this one front on, mate. So the perfect jackhammer squat. Oh, we've got jackhammer squats, mate, sorry. Oh, sorry. Yep, so jackhammer squats. So starting feet together, jumping out and down. Meeting back in the centre, thigh parallel, knee in line with hip, chest up, working hard through the hips. Then we go into plank ups. Now this is a quite a tricky exercise, so make sure you're watching this one. He's going to start in a push up position. He's going to go down to his elbows, and then he's going to push back up with his right hand, and he's going to go back down. Now this time he's going to push up with his left hand. Okay. The trick is to stay nice and flat through the back, so. Hips in line with your shoulder at all times, nice flat back, no dipping or no bridging, all right? After that one, he's got uh, push-ups, so while you're down there, mate, do your push-ups, that'd be awesome. Once again, perfect flat back, chest to the ground. He's not coming forward with his elbows, not overloading the shoulder, all the tension is coming through his chest. Now, a quick demonstration of how you do this one on your thighs. So he's just on top of his thighs, he's not on your knees. If your knees are hurting with this one, then you need to get onto, your, onto the top of your thighs more and let all the weight come through, through your upper body and push through that way. Okay, after that one, we've got squat jumps. So back into the orthodox squat jump. He's gonna power down and drive through. Keeping his chest up nice and tall, thigh parallel, so hips in line with knee. That's the minimum requirement, pushing through the heels. Diamond push-ups for this exercise is the next one, number eight. So he's gonna make a diamond shape with his hands. He's gonna point his elbows out to the side a bit more this time, and all the tension you should feel it in, into your triceps. Now he's gonna do a demonstration of how you do this one on your knees. This one's a very advanced exercise, guys, so you know, starting in this position is, is what, I, um, what I suggest. Until you can achieve full range of motion, then go up to maybe trying it on your toes. Okay, then we've got star jumps, simple star jump, nothing too overcomplicated with that one. 
And then mountain climbers. Perfect. Once again, nice flat back. He's nice and light on his toes, driving through hard through his hips and his core. Awesome. And then we're going to go into crunches now. So he's going to slide his hands up the top of his quads, not pulling on his neck. Because if you start with your hands behind your neck, you're going to pull on your neck and eventually you're going to um, cause a strain in your neck as you fatigue. So he's just going to slide his hands up. Nice, really feeling that crunch, really looking for that squeeze in your midsection. Uh, then we go through to alternating jumping lunges. Straight on. Yeah, straight on, yeah. So I'll start taking a big step back. This is a very advanced exercise, guys. And maybe we'll just do some without the jump, Maddie, just to you know get a get the technique right before we start going into a jump. So take a big step back. That's it. So with the jump with the lunges, what we're looking for is nice straight torso as we come down. No lunging forward, no leaning forward, no tipping forward, because what happens there is that'll encourage your knee to come over your toe and um, cause overload on that knee, which is what we want to stay stay away from. All right, and then we've got jump outs to finish, and that's this workout video done. Awesome, perfect. So it's basically a star jump on the ground, nice flat back. Guys, this one's really tough. I want you to uh, really get stuck into this one. Make sure that you're recording your time. Uh, that's really crucial, and then retest yourself you know, a few weeks later to a month's time. Uh, good luck with it, uh, and I'd love to hear how you go. Cheers.